How wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss the iconic galaxy you see behind me. The galaxy that's often referred to as the Sombrero Galaxy, that's more officially known as M104, or NGC 4994. A somewhat peculiar galaxy, approximately 31 million light years away from the Milky Way, that despite being similar size and similar mass to the Milky Way, seems to possess an entirely different shape. But more importantly, Extremely recently, James Webb Space Telescope was finally able to capture some of the more detailed images of this galaxy, discovering new secrets and presenting us with a few new mysteries. And so let's discuss this galaxy and the discoveries in a little bit more detail, but I guess let's start with the facts. So here's actually what this galaxy might look like if you were to try to capture it with a telescope. This is of course the image in the optical light, and so because of this bizarre, flat shape, over time, it just became known as the Sombrero Galaxy. But this bizarre head shape is actually formed by two very specific features. Features that are somewhat unusual for this type of a galaxy. Although here it's a little bit easier to see all of this if we look at the image from the Hubble telescope. And so here we have an extremely bright center, or basically an extremely bright nucleus, with an unusually large central bulge, but also this very strange flattened dust lane that seems to form a narrow layer of a disk. But because we're seeing this from basically almost the side view, it essentially appears like a kind of a hat-like object. And one of the first mysteries here was basically trying to classify this galaxy or trying to figure out what shape it forms. At first, it was believed to be maybe a spiral galaxy similar to the Milky Way, or at least some kind of a disk shape like you see right here. But some of the first observations in the infrared light with the Spitzer telescope revealed that it was definitely not. First of all, it showed us that it seems to have a very unusual ring shape around it, basically formed by a dust lane approximately 100,000 light years across, and a dust lane that forms an extremely symmetrical ring around the galaxy. But second of all, it also seems to possess a relatively large halo, somewhat similar to elliptical galaxies, like the one you see right here known as IC 2006. And so here it almost looked like some kind of a combination of several types of galaxies all at once. Or it was basically kind of like having an elliptical galaxy, but also mixed with the ring galaxy, such as the famous and mysterious Hoag's object. You can learn about this galaxy in one of the videos in the description. And actually, in reality, it does seem to possess a lot of similarities to many of these ring galaxies, as opposed to similarities to the Milky Way. So in this case, just like with the Hoag's object, here the center seems to possess basically no star activity, whereas the outer ring seems to contain a lot of atomic hydrogen and a lot of different types of gas, and also serves as a primary site of star formation inside the galaxy. You can actually see in a Hoag's object here, the blue light indicates star formation, whereas the yellow light in the center, these are actually ancient stars, with the center itself being somewhat inactive for a long time. And so in some sense, this is possibly something extremely similar and potentially is a ring galaxy, just observed from the side. And so in some sense, this could be the closest ring galaxy to us and might even help us solve the mystery of their formation. But the mystery does not end there, because the center here is also kind of mysterious. So first of all, as I mentioned, there doesn't seem to be any star activity in the center, but there is a supermassive black hole, or technically an ultramassive black hole, because previous studies that measured the motion of stars in the center established that it's at least a billion solar masses, but possibly as large as 9 billion solar masses, making this one of the most massive black holes known to us, something like 2000 times more massive than the one in the center of the Milky Way, but also surprisingly completely inactive, which by itself is kind of bizarre, and that's because the second farthest black hole, or the second farthest ultramassive black hole, the one in the M87 galaxy, is very active and produces a lot of energy. Which is also, of course, what we're kind of seeing right here in the image from the Event Horizon Telescope. Yet the Sombrero Galaxy black hole is potentially just as massive, but doesn't seem to do anything. It seems to produce some energy and seems to be a source of very weak ionizing gas, but that's about all it does, which is kind of difficult to explain at the moment. But its mass and, of course, the amount of stars in this galaxy actually do suggest a lot of previous collisions and collisions with a lot of massive galaxies, which is also reinforced by the idea that this galaxy, unlike other nearby galaxies, 
contains a huge number of globular clusters. Here we're talking about structures with thousands and even millions of stars, very ancient and very compact in size, that very often come from other galaxies and sometimes even represent ancient cores of different galaxies. And so in this case, Sombrero contains up to about 2000. And that's at least 10 times more than the Milky Way galaxy. And here it's not entirely clear why. Although in previous studies, researchers suggested that it might be connected to the enormous bulge and the enormous black hole. Mostly because there's a correlation between the size of the bulge in a galaxy and the total number of globular clusters. But a lot of these discoveries were made previously using other telescopes. And now, for the first time ever, we also get additional observations, very detailed observations, by the James Webb. And here's essentially what this image looks like. And though similar, it is very different. For one, it's extremely detailed and allows us to see things that were previously invisible. And here's actually how the three images from the Hubble, Spitzer and Webb compare to each other. And so even though the Hubble telescope presented us with a very bright but also somewhat dusty galaxy, the images from Webb remove all of this dust and finally allow us to see what's inside. Most of these new observations were done in the mid-infrared, which highlights the details in the outer ring and brings into focus a lot of different dust that nobody knew was even here. And so one of the main discoveries in this case was basically a discovery of a lot of unusual clumps, and here we're talking about clumps of different types of gas and different types of molecules that are usually the building blocks for a lot of different objects in a galaxy that seem to be present inside this ring. And you can easily see them yourselves if you zoom in on the image because they're basically visible as these individual bright dots that seem to be orbiting around the galaxy. And so these very strange clumpy dust patches have now been studied by James Webb revealing what's inside of them. Surprisingly, there are a lot of carbon-containing molecules, including polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which represent a group of organic compounds, very often fused into rings, which sometimes resemble this. And the thing is, they're usually associated with a lot of star formation, and even formation of new exoplanets, because they seem to be usually formed inside various nebula, which then, in the right conditions, start forming new stars and lead to new star systems. But despite containing so many different clumps, surprisingly, Sombrero Galaxy does not produce enough stars. As a matter of fact, the thorough analysis of star formation revealed that this galaxy seems to form at least 10 times less stars than galaxies similar in mass. And it even seems to form less stars than our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Which kind of confirms the very strange nature of this galaxy, and even suggests that this is possibly one of the strangest types of galaxies in the vicinity of the Milky Way, and that means we have to study it even more. And that's combined with the fact that it contains so many different globular clusters, such a huge central black hole, a very bizarre ring, clumps of star formation that don't even seem to form that many stars, and possibly a lot of other mysteries that we still have not discovered. And so hopefully some of the future observations with some of the other telescopes, including the Event Horizon Telescope, can possibly explain some of these mysteries. But for now, it really looks like this is maybe some kind of a ring galaxy, similar to the mysterious Hoag's object, except that this time, extremely close to our galaxy, essentially in our neighborhood. And that's really because of these observations from the James Webb. Here, this ring is just a little bit too smooth to be anything else, and is very different from what we expect from a disk galaxy. Which means that we'll definitely come back and talk more about the Sombrero Galaxy in some of the future videos. And so until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining your channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.